guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my beauty and lifestyle channel. Today's show, I will be talking about what I purchased at Vuitton on a $1,000 budget. Before I start, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So I have two things that I was able to purchase from Vuitton on a budget of $1,000 on a gift card that I was gifted to spend anywhere at the win. Having been a former employee of Vuitton, I kind of struggled on what to spend $1,000 on in a luxury the store. One thing I knew I really, really wanted was a perfume, and it's in this bag right here that I was able to take home with me. And the other object I did order, so it's here in the box, and we will open that to see what's in it. But first, Let's enjoy the beautiful orange packaging that is Vuitton. And let me show you how they package the perfume. So there's a bag inside a bag. The only thing this is missing is, I know there's a, um, a blue ribbon that's supposed to go right through the slot and tie a nice bow. I don't know why they didn't. Maybe they were out of ribbon. Maybe they were in a rush. Maybe it's because my salesperson was a dude. I don't know, but I went to the Vuitton men's store at the Win, and it's funny because two people said to me on my way and we had to wait in line, and both the security guard and I think a salesperson or something said, you know this is the men's store, right? Like women don't shop for men, but I knew that they had the full selection of perfumes. So here she is. I knew that I wanted this perfume for a while. It's just that I did not want to spend $360 of my own money to purchase her. I'm allergic to a lot of perfumes, so even spending $80 or $120 for something I might not wear just was not, just it wasn't a priority for me. I have experienced Les Sables Roses, and it's just, to me, such an intoxicating, beautiful oud and rose scent. So this is from the oud collection. Oud is, as I understand, it's a fermented wood and it's worth more than gold. Particularly, it's particularly valuable in Middle Eastern countries and cultures. They really love this scent. Um, so this smells, it's a little powdery, a little rosy, but very intoxicating. Love the packaging. So you have this cylindrical container where you would store your perfume. And let me just show you how beautiful. So that pops out. It's very sleek, mysterious. And I do plan to engrave my initials in gold once I can. The particular store I purchased this from, they did not have the engraving machine. So I will bring it to a store that's local to me to have it engraved. Louis Vuitton perfumes are refillable. And the cap is magnetic. So that's a cool little feature. So you don't easily lose the cap. And you've got the LV logo right at the top. That was about $390 of the budget. $390 after tax is $360, something like that. And I kind of struggled with what else could I spend for the remaining $600. Especially at Vuitton, just it had to be something I would use as well. So here she is. I have not tried her on yet, so we'll actually see if this is something that I will stick with. I, I just had, literally had a few minutes to shop because we were leaving and I had to decide. So I asked the manager, if I don't like these, do I get a credit? at Vuitton. He said yes. So I said, okay, I've got to take my chances then. And I had remembered that while I had worked at Vuitton, there's a particular pair of sunglasses that I thought were really unique and cute. And they are called I Feel Pretty. I'd actually looked at the Vuitton website and saw that it was no longer listed on the website. And I was like, oh my God, that those sunglasses had a short run or short season, uh, must not be available, whatever reason. So I was able to order them. Here they are. 
So I thought I would take my chances. I do have 30 days to return. So here we go. Here's the little, little, this is a big manual. I don't know why the manual is so, well, the different languages, but that's a pretty thick manual for sunglasses. Here you have the case with the hinge. They used to be boxes, I believe, when I worked there. And then you have the pouch that you would store the sunglasses in to make sure they don't scratch. Okay. Wow. Oh my God. These are dirty. If you look at that, there's like actually a print of something on both sides of the lens. It's disgusting especially in this day and age with coronavirus. I'm really disappointed that somebody would just put these on in the box without even bothering to wipe the lenses. Ugh. Hey, and I know it's from, I know it's from Scottsdale. So Scottsdale, Vuitton, how dare you put some lenses, some sunglasses in the case without even cleaning them. I'm going to inspect these really well and make sure that that's all just dirt and grease. All right, I'm gonna use a lens cleaning wipe. The, um, ugh. That is not good. I should probably take a picture. I will do that. Just to send to the manager and let him know from a store like Vuitton, when you are spending $600, whether it's a gift card or not, the lenses should be absolutely clean when you're sending it to a client. So I'm just gonna take some photos because obviously this was a mail order. If I find a scratch, it will be my word against theirs on whether they will honor an exchange. Okay, I'm gonna use my Zeiss cleansing wipe. Honestly, that fingerprint on there looks, looks, it looks nasty. Like there might be some COVID germs in there. Or some, ugh. Like I said, just being a former employee of Vuitton, having worked retail, it doesn't matter if the item is $25 or $600, but if it's $600, it better be damn clean. So, I mean, looking up close, I can see micro scratches, like minimal, maybe micro scratches from maybe wiping. It's not that big a deal to me because you can't see it unless I look up close and I know those things will appear as I wear them anyway so I'm not gonna make a big deal I'm just gonna make sure they're clean and acceptable condition now okay looking at them they look a tiny bit crooked I'm gonna put them on the table see if they're oh god yeah they're not level so what does that tell me Somebody bent these out of shape. It appears to me that they have been worn and returned. And what I mean is when I put them on the table, I know you guys can't see, but the this temple is raised. So um, to me, it had been worn and returned. I'm gonna try them anyways. What do you guys think? that they're definitely crooked because that temple is off. Um, they're cute. And I'm just, I'm kind of disappointed that they're not straight. I know everyone's like one ear higher than the other, but it's, it's this one that it's just not sitting where it should. And, um, I don't think they fit my face for $600. I am just going to send them back to the store. We'll pick out something else. Something that will suit me better. These aren't it. They just don't fit my face correctly. But they are really pretty and they are really cute. I'm gonna take a picture of this too, just to show them that somehow the sunglasses are skewed and they're not correct. I should have opened this last week when I received them, but I did want to do an unboxing. So now I'll put that away. For now, the perfume stays, the sunglasses go back. Um, so what I actually spent was, the retail on the sunglasses was 600, and the retail on the perfume was 360, so after tax, 
the money out of my pocket was about $41. So those are two items that you can get if you spend $1,000 at Louis. So these guys are going back. We'll see what else we can get with it. Hey guys, so I went to the store to exchange the sunglasses and to get the perfume engraved. So I wanted to just show you the results. Now, these are the sunglasses I did get and I wanted to show you the case because as I suspected, those that hinge case was an old case. So I was wondering how that arrived with the sunglasses. I'm thinking they might have meant to pull those sunglasses return to stock, return to vendor, and it somehow ended up with me. But anyhow, I wanted to show you the details of the case because it has the rivets in the corners, reminiscent of the Vuitton trunk. And I thought that was interesting. I actually, that was the first time I noticed that. I don't know if I'd noticed it before. Let me show you what's inside. The sunglasses I purchased are here in this pouch. This pouch is fabulous because this is what I can just drop in my handbag without having to carry this humongous thing. My first glance at the sunglass shelf and this was the first pair I saw and picked up and it was love at first sight. So here they are, it's a classic cat eye. They are called Arizona Dream. So you've got the LV logo on the temple, on the lens, and I noticed on the inner part of the temple, you've got those, um, well, they're screws, but they look like, you know, to me, they look like the Vuitton trunk detailing. And something I noticed on the website too, when I went up, to, went to look at the name of these sunglasses, it mentioned the pieces that are reminiscent of the Speedy. So I took a look and the shape of the earpiece is actually the shape of a speedy tab. Very clever, but I just, I love the detailing and it's a very beautiful smooth plastic. Let me try them on for you. Oh, how fabulous. Um, these suit my face way better than the I feel pretty glasses that I showed you earlier. I know they're a little big for my face, but I wanted them to just be like, kind of wow, make a statement. So I totally am in love with, with these and will wear them everywhere, including Costco. Now, the other thing that I went to do was to eng engrave my perfume. You see the initials there, MLF. What I should have done was put dots in between so that it would be a little more spaced out, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, another thing I didn't mention about the perfume is that it's refillable so that when I run out of this, I can just refill it and this bottle stays in the family. I can pass it on to my daughter, just as in Vuitton fashion, that you keep the items in the family and pass it on and keep using it. And it's cheaper to refill than it is to purchase a whole new bottle. I'm quite happy with that. So I just wanted to update you guys with my purchases. So again, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you received that you loved or anything that you received that you've hated. My takeaway from this experience is that um, you want to be very, very careful when you're ordering sunglasses that are coming from another store. And also as I experienced, one thing that happened was the first time I took these sunglasses home, I came home and I noticed a big, what looked like a thumbprint on the temple but it, I couldn't rub it away. So I got really worried just knowing that I already exchanged the glasses once, went back to the store, and um, I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of snarky at this boutique. But a manager popped in and said he would take over, and the funny thing is I don't think he recognized me even though I worked with him. I had brought customers to that store, but I think he recognized me as someone that, like, okay, I'm not sure if he recognized me as an employee or maybe he just thought, I've seen this girl before, let me help her. So anyways, he tried to take out the, um, it, it ended up to be a defect. And what it was, was that something had touched it before the plastic set. So it looked like someone had put some tape and then peeled it off. So my takeaway from this whole experience is 
get your sunglasses from the, the store and examine it like crazy before you leave because it could have gone the other way. Um, and from this experience too, don't just be wary of things that might come from another store, especially if they're sunglasses, they're more delicate than a handbag, whether it's uh, $25 or $700, whatever you're bringing home from the store should pretty much be, um, be spotless. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments your faves or your fails. My name is Michelle and thanks for watching my channel. Bye.